not flesh with the new mentality that God is depending upon you, not on a casual basis. Look at the society we are. If we don't teach these children about God, what will happen? Means coming back to God. It means being right with me again. It means getting forgiveness for wandering away. I'm done of pretense. I'm done of self-deceit. I'm done of wasting my life. God, you have to give me the Director, 
We have the director of services and where we have the what? Director of operations. Amen. Amen. God the Father of praise as the managing director. He manages the universe. Someone say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Psalm 24 says, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness and all that are within it. God manages. Amen. amen. And then we put what? Jesus there as the director of what? Services. He takes care of your monuments. The director of services takes care of your what? Your benefits. He makes sure your welfare is taken care. Your house, your salary, your, your all the things you want to what? Enjoy is packaged in who? In Christ. That's why he died. To make life better for you. To make life comfortable for you. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit did not die. But the Holy Spirit is what? In charge of oppression. Someone say in charge of oppression. <laughs> Whatever you need to do for God, the Holy Spirit is what? In charge. If you are going to be convinced, if you are going to be born again, the Holy Spirit is what? In charge. The Bible says in John chapter 16 verse 7, it said, it is expedient for you that I go. Jesus was speaking. If I do not go, the Holy Spirit will not come. But when I'm gone, the Holy Spirit will come. He will convict you of sin, of righteousness, and of what? Of judgment. Of sin because they don't believe in me. It's time to walk in the power of the Holy Ghost. Put my slide there for them. Amen? It's a, it's a short time because I really want you to experience power. So I say it is time for me to experience power. So it's not about talk. This morning it's about power. Amen? And I have five or uh, twelve points here. I'm just going to make it snappy. From uh, Acts, um, Romans chapter eight, we read the first part the other time, and now we're fu fully finish it. Number one, how what does it mean to walk in the power of the Holy Ghost? It is not to walk in condemnation, but in the Spirit. So I say, I will no more walk in condemnation. Say it as if you meant it. You know, many of us who have given our lives to Jesus, but we walk in what? Condemnation. That's why we are not growing. We begin where we were last year, 20 years ago. When we are not born again, that's where we are. You are not there. Hallelujah. Jesus didn't die in vain. You didn't hear me. I said, Jesus did not die in vain. Someone say, Amen. Amen. I said, this one did not die in vain. Amen. He did not die in vain. Amen. He died to change your life. He died to change my life. There is no, therefore, no more condemnation. Stop condemning yourself. Committed or not to you, committed this one. If you have given your life to Jesus, stay focused. Someone says, stay focused. Stay focused. Every line will tell you, stay tuned. Don't go away. Have you had the challenge? Yeah, then all of them. They say, stay what? Stay tuned. If you have given your life to Jesus, stay what? Stay tuned. Stay focused. Stop living in the past. Number two, it's not to walk in the flesh. Don't allow the dictates of the flesh. Even though you are staying tuned, don't allow the dictates of the flesh direct you. Now that you have given your life to Christ, Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. Somebody needs for me quickly. We are crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, we need. Yes? Yes. We have been crucified with Christ. I no longer live. For Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave his life for me. Amen. So we are, we are no more walking in the flesh. Someone said, No more walking in the flesh. What does it mean to walk in the flesh? The flesh will tell you you can't go to church, you can't pray, you can't give, you can't do this. That is the flesh. The flesh tells you, Take care of my body. Take care of my what? All the money you have belongs to you. The flesh tells you, this is the way to go. 
go and commit adultery, go and commit uh, uh, sin, go and kill. That's the flesh. You are no more flesh what? Driven. Somebody say, I'm no more flesh driven. I'm no more flesh driven. You are not walking in the power of the Holy Ghost when all you do is about your what? Flesh. Flesh tells you go and drink beer. You are looking for beer. Go and drink alcohol. You are looking for alcohol. Go and kill. You are looking for... No! You are a new person. And now crucified. All your past has been crucified. Somebody say amen. amen. Number three. It is to run away from anything synonymous with sin. Anything you know will provoke God. Anything you know will not make God happy. You run away from them. That's what it means to walk in the power of the Holy Ghost. I tell young couple, when they want to marry, you must not have sex before marriage. Amen? Amen. How do you prevent that? You behave as if your parents are what? Are there when you are caught. Amen? Amen. Hello? Is somebody in church? These ones are married. There are many who are not married. This message is for you. You don't walk in the what? In the flesh. You don't commit sin. You don't say because you are dating him, then you must sleep with together. No. How do you overcome that? You have the consciousness that if my mother is sitting down here, I can't be sleeping with the doctor when I'm not married. Am I speaking? Yes. Am I speaking? Yes, but we behave as if God is not there. God is there. God is what? Yeah. He's there. Your parents are not there. God is there. Hallelujah. Yeah. I said hallelujah. Yeah. Number four. It is not to be carnally minded, but spiritually minded. You are thinking of the spirits. You are ruled by the what? By the spirits. It's time to pray. You pray. It's time to study the world. You study the world. We have a generation that want the power of God without the attributes of the power of God. Not to be carnally minded, but spiritually minded. We have read about Peter, we have read about Paul, we have read about all these apostles. What makes the difference? Why are they able to do miracles? Talk to me. Hello? What? Welcome. I said welcome. Is that right? Do you know about Paul? Somebody we call Paul in the Bible. Why was he able to do miracles? God gave you the power of God. That's a smart one. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Why was Paul able to do miracles? He walked in the power of God. You guys are more smarter than your pastor. You are dodging the question. Amen. Yes, Dickiness. Anointed Dickiness. Why was Paul able to walk in the power of God? All these people. They were spiritually minded. Yes, what does it mean to be spiritually minded? That's what I'm trying to get to you. They were always in church. Hello? They were always praying. They were always fasting. Hello? They were always motivated to do the things of what? Of God. In Acts chapter 3, they said, as Peter was going to church, not going to club, hello, not going to party, but going to what? Going to church. So he could say, silver and gold I do not have, but what I have I give to in the name of Jesus. Why? Because he was not carnally minded. He was spiritually minded. In the workers' class, we read that they, he said they followed the doctrine.
They were moving from house to house. They were praying. They were not shouting on phone, wasting their energy on Facebook, on things that are irrelevant. We this a generation that in one week they will not read the Bible. You want to work in power? You are not. You are carnally minded. You are social media what? Minded. minded. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I said glory be to God. Hallelujah. If you want to walk in power, to walk in power is that you are only ghost driven. When you wake up, what comes to your mind is how to pray. Pray for your pastor. Pray for your nation. Pray for your father. Pray for your mother. Pray for your husband. Pray for your wife. Not spend five hours in the day eh, on WhatsApp, from WhatsApp. What do you do about the other one? <laughs> Snapchat, Instagram, eh? Twitter, Facebook. Oh my goodness. This generation has occupied us with evil. All kinds of languages. How can you walk in power when you go from all kinds of things? Oh my goodness. Let's go. Let's go. Number five, it is to have the Holy Spirit. For without the Holy Spirit, it's impossible to walk in, with the power of God. Is that you, you are consciously asking God to fill you with power, to fill you with anointing. Something happens in your spirit, you wake up, Lord, fill me with power today. I told you there are three prayers you must always say it when you wake up in the morning. What are the three? Who remembers? Number one, protect me. Number one, do what? Because if you are dead, you are dead. You are not hearing me. Protection is number one. God, as I'm going out today, do what? Holy Spirit, do what? They will be asked as I'm talking now, some people are dying. The youth were here yesterday, I asked them three things that must occupy your mind. God, Family, education. Three things you must include in your morning devotion, my sister. Welcome. What are they? Number one, God, do what? Let me not die today. Let my legs not be cut off. Let my head not be cut off. Protect me, protect my wife, protect my children, protect my children, protect my husband. Lord, do what? Protect me. Number two, is power. Is what? Power. power to do. Some people who slept yesterday, they have no power to wake up and get up. They have no power to talk anymore. They have no power to run anymore. They were running yesterday. You need power. 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 You need Have you seen people who committed rape, who stole? What they, when they are called, what they said? The devil led me. Why are you allowing the devil to lead you when the Holy Ghost can lead you? Because you are powerless against the devil. When you have power with God, when the devil is coming, you say, Satan, listen to me. The way Jesus was tempted is the way you have been tempted. Why do you think Jesus came? To show you how to deal with the devil. Somebody said to show us how to deal with the devil. Show us how to deal with the devil. You will tell the devil, he said, it is written. That's why you must be spiritually minded. You are, you, are, you are building yourself in the Holy Ghost with the word of God. Number three, part of your prayer in the morning is wisdom. Somebody said wisdom. wisdom. Okay, let's move forward now. Don't want to digress. I was just telling you, you need the Holy Ghost. You need the power of the Holy Ghost. Every morning, ask for the power of the Holy Ghost. The way you see marriage is breaking. Hello? Have you seen marriage is breaking? I was listening to the radio during the week. He said 50% of marriages in our time do what? Break. Those who do second marriage, 80% of those marriages do what? 
break. Those who do third marriage, 98% of third marriage is do what? Break. Why is marriage breaking? Because there is no power. Your friend, your husband, your wife is behaved. What do you do? Lord, deliver my wife. Lord, deliver my husband. But you come back. I will show you today that you know husband. Who doesn't know you are the husband? When you are there, which places? I mean, when you are there, like just saw you join me up. So it's not just God. We saw everybody. When you are married, they say, in the presence of God, and what? So, don't, don't, just tell me you are my wife. You are, I already know. Everybody knows. Your parents know. Glory be to God. Walk in power. Say, walk in power. Walk in power. Number seven, it is to be led by the Spirit. It's not just to have the Holy Spirit. It's to be led by the Spirit. It's to allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. If you want job, let the Holy Spirit lead you. If you want to live in Canada, you want to live here or there, let the Holy Spirit out your flesh. Not your flesh. If you are going by 401 now from here, from Westin, if you go east, you will reach Oraba, isn't it? If you keep going. If you go from that Westin this way, can you get to Oraba? Eh? You are going the opposite. If you are using GPA, you will say, make a legal u turn Make what? Make a legal u turn Because you are going the wrong direction. He's telling you the way you are going, you can't get to Orawa. You will get to the London, you will get to all those ones. You will, you will be born in gas. May the Lord give us this generation. You allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. The Holy Spirit is your GPS. God's plan of what? Salvation. The Holy Spirit is your leader. I'm talking to you about how to walk, what it means to walk in the Holy Ghost. Number eight is to receive the spirit of adoption, whereby you cry out my father. To walk in the Holy Ghost is to know that you have a father who is there for you. You have a father you can cry to children, look at me. I'm no more going to school, amen? I got PhD in 1995. So I'm not sitting for exam now. You are the one sitting for exam. You need the Holy Ghost. The Bible says, read for me John chapter 14 verse 26. If you want to read, if you want to take an exam, that is one scripture you must memorize. You must walk in. That is what it means to walk in the Holy Ghost. You cry out, my father. Yes, read it loud. No, John 14, 26. But the advocate, the, the helper, yes, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, we teach you all things. I will remind you of all things. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Why do we need God? Psalm 121. My help will come from above. Who never sleeps? But you need to ask him. Hallelujah. Amen. I say hallelujah. Amen. I say hallelujah. Amen. It is to be an heir of God. You have the consciousness, I'm a joint heir. I have a place with God. That is not just a human being, it's a supernatural human being. Because I'm walking in the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm a joint heir. We are in joint business with God. Hallelujah. Amen. You are in joint what? Business. When Jesus was here, the Bible says he had a foster parent by the name of Joseph. And one day they went to Jerusalem. And uh, they were doing taxes and so on. Tax has always been there. Tax. Tax problem has always been what? Since the days of Jesus. They were going to what? They were going to Jerusalem for what? Tax purposes. We are looking for tax people. <laughs> Amen. Just in financial circle, we say two things are certain. Death and tax. 
If you know the way CMA is pursuing me now with any task, only God will deliver me. <laughs> Say, God, deliver my pastor. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I'm a joint here with God, he will deliver me. Amen. I say he will deliver me. Amen. What does it mean to work in the Holy Ghost to manifest God's power in a peculiar way? That is what I want you to take away from here at this moment. You must walk in power. You must see miracles happening. Happening in your life. Happening in your life. You must lay your hands on the sick and they will recover. Peter is gone. David is gone. Peter and my boy is gone. Judas is gone. All these ones are gone. You are now on stage. This is your time. Do you know why they are running around? Everybody now is running around. They are looking for prophecy. They are looking for what? I look for prophecy. We had a man of God in our church in those days, Apostle in Gabon. He said, when he finishes ministry, some people will come to him and say, Papa, what do you see for me? He said, he will tell them, what will I see for a sinner that has not repented? He said, he's going to hell. <laughs> you are living in sin. He said, what do I see for you? You know you are going forward. Like, what do I see for you? Yeah. If you don't want to go to jail, don't do evil. The map, the, 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 the microscope, what does it do? Yeah? It just magnifies what's there. Does it create what is there? The binoculars, what does it do? Yeah? It just sees what is far. They don't change what is there. Prophecy doesn't change your life. Hmm, I don't hear anything. I said prophecy doesn't change your life. It's a revelation of what you are doing. So if you want God to take care of your life, you change your life and work in power. And then you have a good life. Prophecy is not, it's not condition. God says, we are going to have a year of what? Flourish. You say, no. Pastor, that I just said this home. That's your home. Those who receive it, the Bible says, Second Chronicles chapter 1, 20 verse 20. He said, Those who believe the word of God are what? Established. Those who believe the prophets are what? Are prosperous. I see you prospering. Yeah. I say, I see you prospering. Yeah. It is to get to a stage in Christian life, in my level, when you realize all things work for good, irrespective of the situation or circumstances you are finding yourself. Romans 8, verse 28. It doesn't matter what is happening now. I'm confident I will make it. I didn't hear it. You will make it. Somebody say, I'm going to make it. In Canada. If God has brought you to Canada, you are going to make it in Canada. Say it loud and clear. Okay, join me to prophesy to your neighbor. You will make it in Canada. There is a bigger picture. I said there is a bigger vision. You will make it. He said, no matter what is happening, all things work together for good for them that love God and are called according to His purpose. If you are working with God, you can't fail. No, you can't fail. The devil cannot kill you. This is morning we are praying. God will shoot arrows. Oh, no, no, I don't hear anything. Yeah. Go and read Psalm 64. He said, God will shoot arrows. Yeah. If you want to shoot arrow to me, it's not that your arrow will not prosper. It is that God will now take his own word. He said, Dada is my son. Dada is working for me. You want to kill me? Ooh, ooh. The arrows of God will hit your enemies. Yeah. Nothing can separate you. Working in the power of God is that you are confident. Never death, no tribulation, no persecution, no marital issues, no financial issues, no clinical issues can separate me. Some people need to headache. Oh no, they are no more going to church. They have just lost their job. God is, is, is in trouble. 
Before you got the job, where was God? I know that people when they have they say, God, where are you? God is on his throne. He has not changed position. Did you get me? Before you got married. Have I seen Mrs. Well Mary? Stand up. Oh my goodness. This one come, come, come. So that the boys will know what to do for you. How do I walk in the power of the Holy Ghost? I give you six points quickly. Number one, repent of your sins. If you are here this morning, you never know Jesus, you are wasting your time if you want the power of God. Acts chapter 2, he said, when they had the word of God, they were pricked in their hearts and they said, what shall we do? If you don't come to a stand there and say, I have the word of God, what am I going to do now? Peter said, repent. Somebody said, repent. repent. Tell your neighbor, repent. repent. Be saved. You'll be baptized. In the Holy Ghost. Repent. And be saved. And be baptized. In the Holy Ghost. Say after me, repent. repent. And be saved. Repent. And be baptized. Repent. In the Holy Ghost. Repent. Number two, cultivate God's presence. Make sure your environment is God in deals. There are so many young boys, particularly from Nigeria, uh, 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 music space. All they do is make money, leading people to what? Bad lifestyles. Every song is about sex. And the young ones are catching fever. Somebody is making money, is leading you to hell. Oh my goodness. And the way you spend the money as your what? Your front. How do you walk in the path of the Holy Ghost? Cultivate God's what? DJ, I mean, is it DJ? Yeah. Uh, make sure the music you are listening to. It's not sexy oriented. Are you listening to me? If you are 13, 14, 16, and all you are looking for, I love you, I love you, and you are not talking of loving Jesus, sorry for you. Sorry for you. Before you go into that day, you'll be masturbating, watching pornography, because of music that does not help your life. Thank God there's no more CD, uh, everything is uh, what? iTunes, I want, I something. In those days when there were CDs and tape, the back side of those songs are satanically what? Driven. All those songs. Listen, I know what I'm talking about. We went to Nigeria to do it, and then got of Hebrews conference. And then we were listening to the radio. And then they were interviewing one more about his music. They said, you made this music 10 years ago, it did not sell. How come every Nigerian is now looking for this song? Ah. He laughed. He said, I slept in the graveyard for seven days. Very, very. Those songs are to drive you to hell. You will not go to hell. Yeah. Cultivate God's presence. Listen to Godly music. Read the word the Bible says, look for me, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 21. I'm talking about walking in the power of God and how to walk in the power of God. It says, sing it to yourselves, psalms and what? Hymns. Let's move forward. Number three, become an eagle believer. Somebody said, become an eagle believer. Any moment from now, we are going to have another international gathering of people's conference. I didn't hear you shout. 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 Shout hallelujah. There are three or four things that makes you an eagle believer. Number one is that what? You become born again, and then number one is what? To read the word of God. Somebody say, read the word of God. Put it on top for them. Let them not see you. Let them see the word. B, 
praying and praying in tongues. And be swaggy. You wake up, mask up, polobo, so polobo, shalia. Evil sickness will run away. Have you listened to me? Am I talking to somebody? I said, Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? Makuria, stand up wherever you are. Begin to speak in tongues right now. Begin to declare the counsel of God. Rabba Sakandelebo, Rekebo Sakondo Robo Soria, Rabaska Bekebo Soka, Yekebo Seke. Pray in the Spirit. 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 Shaka Beke Rebo Soka, Mala Sandelebo. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus, let me pray. Please be seated. Number three, fellowship with the brethren. I see many of you coming to church now. Please give the Lord a big hand. Give the Lord a big hand. Don't stop it. Don't let people drift you away with words of that does not help your life. Stay where God is. And God is here. I didn't tell you. I said God is here. Amen. It's not my word. Genesis 28. He said better means the gate of what? Heaven. The household of God. God lives here and visits other churches. <laughs> well, it's in the Bible. Glory be to God. Better is where God lives. Why will you be looking for where you will be a visitor? Where God can perchance stay there. But wherever this of gospel is coming back here, give the Lord a big hand. I said Jesus is coming back here. I said Jesus is coming back here. Shout hallelujah. Just permit the Holy Ghost to go to this one, go this one. But this is his house. Your small part. This, this is where he eats. Glory be to God. That's why. When Jesus comes to Bethany, he stays in the house of what? Lazarus, Mary, and who? And Martha. Because he lives there, when challenges came, they said, Sir, this is your house. It's very rich. One of us have what? Challenges. He said, There is no challenge. If that's my house, challenge is no challenge. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's how it goes. Last time on this, they say, I'm telling you, the sickness is not unto death. Where Jesus is, there is no death. You will not die. Amen. And you declare the cancer of God. And then Jesus, and then Lester was eventually died. And when he was coming to his house, somebody said he was coming to his house. Somebody said he was coming to his house. This one didn't need house. He said the folks have homes in various houses, have no place. He lives with what? Matter, Mary, and what? Lazarus. So he was coming to his house. Oh, that, that's your friend who you are always joking to them. He's dead now. He said, Did I not tell you I am the resurrection? I'm the Lord. He said, Yes, sir. Come, we also know a little bit of theology. When we get to heaven, you will be there as the resurrection. He said, no, I carry power. I carry the resurrection and life is what? He's here. Somebody said, Jesus is here. Jesus Somebody said, Jesus is here. Jesus May you walk in power oh of the Holy Ghost. He said, I have the resurrection. When everybody died, they are coming to meet me in heaven. So I can do whatever I want to do. I can do it right now. He said, take me to where Lazarus was what? Dead. Oh, sir. Oh, don't understand. It's four days. Your friend is thinking. In fact, the old noise is amazing. He said, Do you want to follow me? Do you want to take me there? Right somewhere, I know you are this morning. I see Jesus entering your life. Yeah. I see Jesus entering your life. Yeah. I see Jesus entering your life. Yeah. Entering your situation. Yeah. And he got there. He said, Roll the way this told. I command every stone blocking the blessing to be run away this morning. I said to be run away this morning. He said, Lazarus, do what? Come out. I command everything that is dead in you by the power and the blood of Jesus to come out this 
Tell the home, you lock the place. You begin to prophesy. You begin to anoint him. You begin to prophesy to him. And that is what will happen. Yeah. When your wife is not there, you lock the place. You begin to prophesy to her. So can he go scare you, Shaya. When the two of you now wake up together, can you imagine what will happen? When you now hold yourself and you now begin to pray, the devil is in trouble. Yeah. The devil is in trouble. Yeah. Listen, when will it is breaking? Because there are so many homes that are defenseless. Prayer is a defense. Prayer is what? It's a barricade. There's a fire of the Holy Ghost. Glory be to God. All right. The last one. Add other ingredients. Add other what? How many of you have cooked food before? Mama, congratulations. Have you ever cooked before? Very, very good. Stand. God bless you. This is your food that made that to look like that. Make it to look so well. Glory be to God. Tell me what you used to cook. Palm oil, eh? salt, pepper, water. One of the main ingredients, like uh, bokoto, like fish, like those things. Amen. Rise up on your feet this morning. Turkey. You want to have the Holy Ghost, there are things you must add. Someone said there are things I must add. In all that I've said, there are things you know. The way you want your soul to be determines on you. Amen? Amen. If you add water and pepper and soap and, uh, and oil, sorry. <laughs> will you not have soup? You will have soup, but even your enemy will say, Is this soup? But when you have all those compliments, are you listening to me? From, from outside, somebody will say there is uh, somebody cooking here. When your life is full of ingredients of God, from outside, they will say, this one, you can't mess up with him. This one is a child of God. My gospel, yeah, read for me. Read for me, read for me, read for me. First Peter. Second Peter chapter. Yes, Second Peter chapter one, four and five. Give it to me quickly. That is your ingredient. You begin to ask for it right now. Second Peter. Mm -hmm. Yes, exceeding precious promises that by this he might partake us of the what divine nature. You are carrying a new nature. The nature of God. That by this he might be partaken of the divine nature. Having escaped the corruption that is what? In the world too, yes? That's fine. Beside this now, now that you are a child of God, now that you are believing, now that you are praying, add to the giving all what? Add what? But an eminent woman has read the uh, uh, Proverbs at one here. If you have not, go back. Amen. If we explain to you what virtue is, he said, add virtue, add character, add a lie that when your husband sees you, he said, My, 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 my. Thank God for the wife I married. She was made on Monday morning. Yes, sir. My God was fresh. <laughs> Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And to virtue, no. You keep yourself with the knowledge of God, not chemical engineering. That's good for your office, but you need the knowledge of God. That's your soul, yes? Go to the next one, please. Add to virtue knowledge. Add to knowledge what? Okay. That one is means prayer. <laughs> temperance. Add to knowledge what? <laughs> what is temperance? Self-control. Somebody has just said something to you. You say, me? This is kind of, you can't talk to me like that. You are better keep quiet. <laughs> you know? One scripture you must know. Proverbs 15, a soft answer turneth away wrath. I'm not saying it should be a long answer, but when your husband is boiling, darling, I still love you. Don't say, eh, so, so what? So, you will receive a slap. That's not what you meant, but 
that's what we get because the man has ego. Man has what? Ego. God will deliver us from ego.
believe God for something. It's going to be five minutes or we'll be down. Amen. Oh, God.
shall be done unto you. I'm telling you, Jesus is in the house. I said, Jesus is in the house. If you need children, receive anointing to conceive. If you need husband, if you need Holy Ghost, if you need salvation, all you can eat is before you right now. Begin to pray 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 right now. Level second, level so quicker. Ask for fresh anointing upon your life. Ask for the ability to do well. Ability to excel. Ability to make it. That nothing will separate you from the love of God. In the name of Jesus. Ask God for the impossible. Because with man, things are impossible. But with God, all things are possible. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I need a bigger amen. amen. Put your hands on your head. You see, first part. Everything you touch shall become good. Amen. Amen. Man of God, I command doors to open for you. Yeah. Doors of ministry. Yeah. You know your comprehension. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, yeah. I don't do what he only can do. Yeah. Where you never thought you can get to. By the reason of your mighty God, possess it. Yeah. You are here looking for a job. I'm not asking for casual job, survival job. I'm asking for mouth-watering salary job. So you this morning, in the name of Jesus. Some of you have found yourself in the cage of darkness because of your lifestyle. And God has forgiven you this morning. I ask you to come out of that cage. Yeah. Come out of that cage. Yeah. Come out of that cage. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. If you are here and you are believing God for children, put your hands on your womb. Because by this time next year, you will carry your baby. Yeah. I command the anointing for conception. To fall upon you right now. Yeah. The Bible says in Genesis 21, and the Lord visited Sarah. As I said, let there be a visitation yeah. of God in your life this morning. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Every student here, put your hands on your heads. Malike Rebo Sokondoria. Uncommon wisdom. Yeah. I say I release uncommon wisdom. Yeah. Uncommon wisdom. Yeah.
He said, those who know me and God shall be strong. And they will do escort. I speak to the DJ, to the equal believers, to everyone under the sound of my voice. Hear the word of the Lord. Go and become a soul winner. Bring people to the kingdom of God. The devil will not block you out. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I release upon you this one. Anointed to work miracles. Anointed to work miracles. Anointed to work miracles. There is no point uh, being a lukewarm Christian. As a matter of fact, in Revelation, the Lord says, you are either hot or cold. But to be lukewarm, I will spool you out. So if you are watching this telecast, please jettison the shaky mentality. Embrace the ego mentality. Be a solid Christian. Be a dependable Christian that people can emulate in your marriage, in your business, in your career. Live for God. Let others that are coming. You know, eagles don't live on this uh, below. They live high. You know, be somewhere that people can see you on the top and say, I want to be like this one. I want my marriage to be like this person's marriage or this couple's marriage and so on. Not fighting and doing all kinds of things. And also, for those who, for any reason, you have not known the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says it is a free gift. I encourage you to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Whatever we do here, the judgment is coming. Nobody lives forever. And one day we come. Nobody knows that day. I am believing God and praying that God, when I leave this place, I will make eternal life. And I don't want you also to go to hell. And the Lord will help you in Jesus' name. And uh, the Christian life is lived like this. How do you become an ego believer? Number one, you give your life to Jesus. Number two, you are committed to reading the word of God. Number three, you are prayerful. Number four, you witness the word of God. Number five, you fellowship. And number six, you give, you preach the gospel. When you do this habitually, you become an ego believer. You become solid. You become a reference point. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name.